There's the ability to scale, which you sure. would well know in the tech sector in Canada has been, has been a persistent challenge. I mean, you've got China is going to spend $100 billion U.S. on AI this year. In Silicon Valley, you've got Meta alone, $120 billion. Right. I mean, we may have first mover advantage, but that kind of capital isn't here. So how do you compete there? So, so first of all, it's a fiercely competitive space. You're right. And, and, you know, what is our goal here? Our goal is to make sure that this revolution, and we're living through the second technological revolution. You know, the Internet came, and now here we are at another, you know, just a fantastic moment, a technological revolution, at the same time as a political realignment. So things are happening quickly. There's a lot of companies pouring a lot of money in. But I'll give you an example. You mentioned China and the United States. Yeah. Those countries have these home to two of the large language models. People say, oh, chat GPT. Those kind of companies are invented in the U.S. There's only four countries that have major LLM, large language model companies, that are making like the chat GPT and the anthropic. The U.S., China, there's one in France. Right. And the fourth right here, cohere in Canada. So let's be clear, we are there. Our challenge and, and the mission that I launched uh, last week has two things. One, AI for everyone to make sure that all Canadians benefit from it. We keep our jobs, our IP safe, our privacy and data safe. Canadians have questions about that. And, and to make sure that we do it in a timely fashion. Right. 